Um, that was the first Golden Goggles winner of the year right there. And before we hand out the award for the mail race of the year, let's check in with our tableside correspondent, Summer Sanders, who's standing by with someone I think you might recognize. Well, yes. Kevin Nealon, you're doing a good job. These Thank are you not much. easy names, you know. U.S. names are, are not the easiest names. No, there. they're not. And I'm, Believe and I'm me. Serious about not, that. not with what I'm taking. This, do you know this gentleman next to me? <laughs> this, <laughs> this is Michael Lewis. He is one of the greatest authors of our generation. He's probably psyched up many of the audience members here today. He um, wrote The Blind Side, Moneyball, most recently. I know I watch those movies to get really psyched up to take care of my five year old down here. Um, Michael, first of all, uh, I know we've been trying to get you involved in, come over here into the light a little bit, um, involved in USA Swimming to come in and sort of, uh, to pick your brain and assess us, so to speak. So what do you think of USA Swimming so far? Well, I'm doing this with a five year old groping me, so you can keep, the, but, but. Um, uh, you're used to it. You have a four-year-old and your daughter, Quinn, over here, who probably doesn't do that anymore, but... So, my first impression, I have a couple of things that you can't help but notice when you walk into this room. One, it is amazing to be in a room with so many Americans and so little body fat. <laughs> it, 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 it's just, it, it almost feels like we're in a foreign country. It's almost European here. And the other thing I don't understand is, why are the women so tall and the men so short? Uh, and, and, and why do these six-foot-one-inch female swimmers wear heels? It, it, big heels. Because it's, it, you know, it takes guts to wear heels, and they've got courage, and they know what it, I mean, we cheat a little bit. Why not? So, so something's going on. Something's in the water, right? Because you all do so much better than everybody else. And I think that's how I was first approached. I'd written this book about baseball, Moneyball. It was about a team that found a, a better way to do what it would do. Did everyone see it? Brad Pitt. It was good. It was really good. It was very good. So I, I, you all called uh, a few years ago because I think you all sense that you're, it's a similar sort of story. And I don't know what it is. I would have thought there was just one way to swim. But, but apparently not. There's some secrets, and you all have them. And uh, I was asked to expose them. And probably for the good of my country, I didn't. Uh, it's, it, 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 but it, it's, uh, I mean, it's an amazing honor to be here because I can barely get across a pool. Uh, and and uh, it's, a, it's a real delight because we watch the Olympics as a family. And, and uh, this will be the first time we actually know somebody in them. So with that in mind, do you have a favorite Olympic moment? Um, the, from the last Olympics, the, we, we became Phelps fans, of course. Um, a single moment? You know, I, it's funny because I just, I'm presenting with Janet Evans later, later this evening. And I can remember her swims. And I thought it was the most amazing thing. And she was so adorable, too. The idea that one day I would meet her never crossed my mind. So my favorite Olympic moment is tonight. I met Janet Evans. Oh, that's wonderful. Michael Lewis, everyone. What's your next book? Do we know what the next book is? I know I'm supposed to wrap it up. What, do you, is there a next book? Come on, juicy something. NBA lockout-ish or something like that? It is very juicy, and I can't tell you. Okay. All right. I guess we're not that close of friends. Yeah, okay. Go, uh, Quinn, enjoy your night. Sky will. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, Summer. Thank you. <clears throat> it's actually pronounced Kevin.